Welcome to the Ryan Amsterdam, where the doors are closing on the first day of IBC 2025. I expect this might come as a surprise to many of you, but this is actually the first time I've stepped foot back inside the Rye, or even Amsterdam for that matter, since the pandemic. Prior to that, however, I've been coming to this show for years, and it's been simply crazy to watch the evolution of the broadcast market and the makeup of those behind the cameras shifting massively. Once upon a time, IBC was the domain of traditional TV networks and production houses. Now, nearly everyone's a broadcaster in some shape or form, from AV integrators and IT specialists to cloud service providers and AI startups. The technology lining the aisles fully reflects this shift, and so the big buzz this year is around technologies of the internet generation, networks, IP, cloud, IT-driven workflows, and it's not hard to see why. The streaming platforms, content creators and enterprises all stepping into the space, traditional broadcasters are under ever-increasing pressure as their revenue models change. So they're adapting by leaning into OTT, ad tech, connected and immersive tech and AI-driven efficiencies. The result is a show for that feels less like legacy broadcast and more like a future tech marketplace. In fact, arguably one of the busiest areas today was Hall 14, the future tech hub where everything from generative AI to 5G workflows and sustainable media production is being showcased. Broadcasts no longer stand still and people are eyeing what the next major innovations could be. Interestingly, barely a mention of 8K on the show floor this year, which goes to show just how much trends have changed from the last time I was here at the Rye. In terms of some product highlights, a couple of launches today caught my eye. Gates Air's demo of 5G pass-through over UHF explores a new way to get live TV direct to smartphones without changing our hardware. Ikigami's new UHL X40 is proving that serious 4K HDR capture can now come in a body weighing barely a kilo. And MRM sees robotics, from the compact Cinebot Nano to the new RPS LT pedestal, highlights just how fast automation and virtual production are moving into mainstream workflows. Meanwhile, audio also has a strong presence. Sennheiser and Neumann are showcasing tools from the new MKH8018 mic to immersive 7.1.4 monitoring setups, while Solid State Logic has unveiled a Dante-enabled IP native stage box and Shure the DCA901 Painter Array microphone, which significantly reduces the number of microphones and cables required to capture high-quality broadcast audio. All in all, they want to set the tone. IBC is a broadcast show that's no longer just about broadcast and is increasingly becoming a meeting point for all AV, IT and media, conveniently located almost exactly half a year after ISE. The energy is strong, the conversations have been wide-ranging, and there's still three more days to go.